it's, yeah, it's just fantastic. It's, you know, it, I, I've been at the Trust for far too long now, well over a quarter century, um, and this is by far the biggest, boldest thing uh, we've ever done in England, and certainly one of the boldest plans uh, for the English upland. So what deliveries have we had this week? Uh, 21,000 trees last week. Um, mixture of species. Yeah. So we've got some alder, we've got some aspen, we've got yeah. some thorn in there. Yeah, back Scots thorn, pine. Thorn. Scots pine, a bit of oak. So Central. we've got five guys planting today, by the look of it. Yeah, five guys planting, and they're aiming for about a thousand trees a day. It's very exciting. Um, first trees went in the ground three days ago, so we've been working a couple of days now on the ground. Um, yeah, awful lot of work gone into getting to this stage. Uh, probably working about sort of two to three years planning phase. Um, we've been working with an awful lot of consultees, National Park, RSPB, Natural England to, to get this over the line really. I mean this, this is England's largest new woodland this, this winter and I think it's also a flagship for the Northern Forest. So the White Rose Forest, the Humber Forest, Manchester City of Trees and the Mersey Forest have got a strategic collaboration with the Woodland Trust called the Northern Forest and this is an outstanding project within that. Doing things a little bit differently here um, with Woodland Trust committed to not using any single-use plastics in the terms of tree guards um, so they're very excited to be working on this site in a bit of a forward-thinking manner. Uh, we are looking at sort of other alternative things like increasing the number of trees we're, we're planting and accepting not all the trees to survive. There's a lot going against it but it's got its chance but if it, if it does fail then the one next to it might survive so if we, if we get if we get 50% of the trees surviving then that, that's that's yeah. why we're going to hit our target. Job done. Today is probably not that bad for up here. Uh, yeah, I do spend a lot of time up here, but it, it changes hourly. Um, almost to a point where you can drive into the valley thinking you've got a good day and you get up here and then the clouds are in and snowing or raining, whatever it is. So just yesterday it was glorious blue sky here and now we've, like I say, not too bad, but it's a bit different to yesterday. I think it's an outstanding uh, project in terms of the scale and uh, credit has to be given to the Woodland Trust who have put their money where their mouth is. They've done a fantastic job in the design, they've been meticulous in their preparation, and they've done all the right consultation with all the major partners, which has been fantastic, and they've been very patient with it. And they've got a lot of support, and I think it really sets an example of how this should be done at scale. I, I've, I've run along and walked along some of the, you know, the Pennine Way or the Pennine Bridle Way hundreds of times and never even looked down into this valley and now it's you know it's completely the focus of my attention and it's yeah over the next five years as we really get to grips with the woodland creation it's going to be absolutely fantastic and then start with the the peatland restoration and the conservation grazing in the bottom and the restoration of the the limestone pavement areas it's all happening